Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review Episode 236. This one viewing the 1000th and 11th episode of the anime called It's Not Okay, The Spire That Lures Sanji. This one finished up adapting chapter 997, adapting pages 2 through 6 and 11 to 17. The whole thing with Sanji, by the way, that happens pretty quickly in the episode. Yeah, the whole thing with that, that takes up a good chunk of this episode. And there's a little bit with <clears throat> with the whole thing with Yamato. Um, Yamato, Momonosuke, and Shinobu. That actually happens toward the end of this episode. Yes. So, in the case of, let's start with Luffy, Sanji, and Jinbei. Running up the stairs, and then Sanji hears something, and he runs off. In the case of Jean Bay and San, uh, Jean Bay and Luffy, they're basically asked to come to a room because prisoners from Udon are there. People that probably Luffy knows, probably doesn't know their names, but people from Udon, and they basically make a live for him. Apparently, they punch a hole in the ceiling, allow him to bypass the the stairs, which apparently they're supposed to be filled with enemies. And that's it for that. By the way, the two gifters, people they just counted four. Well, one of them anyways, one's the Snake Man, the other of course is a woman who basically has got gorilla power. Which, I'm sure if Sanji's out, like, that's not how it works. Yeah, I thought this was kind of weird. Like, her ability, like, her belt reminds me a lot of the guy who ordered the kidnapping of Otama. Yep, that's what that reminded me of. And that's it for Luffy the whole episode, that one tiny scene. In the case of Otama, well, her stuff basically is related to Sanji. I'll, I'll get to that. So, in the case of, oh, that's really to Zoro. In the case of Sanji, well... He's like, oh, like naughty stuff. Like, who are you gonna be naughty? He's about to kick the door and like things like something like things will possibly be raped. Nope, it's a trap by Black Maria, <clears throat> who has her female subordinates there, and he's tied up. He's demanded to be let go, and of course, he he loves her despite the fact that he probably doesn't know who the heck she is. Um, and also they have this fantasy thing where apparently Sanji is parachuting, is basically coming to land in her hand via an umbrella. I mean, who the heck do you think he is, Mary Poppins? <laughs> With the umbrella thing. I'm surprised no one has said in the anime, uh, you're huge. Because Black Mario is a really big woman. Not, not not due to weight, no. She's really tall. She's a giant. She's almost as big as Big Mom. But not with the big humongous waistline. But that's something else. Yep, and then, of course, basically, she, of course, he sees that he's, like, hell in paradise. He sees, like, the three, I think it looks like three samurai. Look like they're defeated. Look like Bobby Fett. Look like they're tied up via the webbing. And, well, that's it for that. It doesn't take up much of the episode. I mean, from the manga, this is only just a handful of pages. And then, simply put, the rest of the episode, a lot of it, the rest of the half of the episode, is focused on this up with Zoro. Where... You have it where you have Chop admitting he's going to basically cure everybody. Queen tries basically says, nah, I'm not going to allow that to happen. And luck enough, basically Zoro basically stops him and says, I didn't come here for this game. I came here to chop off Kaido. And, well, then the ground starts shaking. This, of course, comes just after uh, Kingdomon tries to attack Kaido and then Kaido throws him off. Yeah, they know exactly what the heck this is at the end of the episode. See, the ground is shaking. Yes. Everybody's wondering what the heck is going on here. <clears throat> and, of course, Otama's on her dog with Nami and Usep, who still knocked out from the last episode. They run off. And everyone's wondering what the heck is going on. And they, they all think it's Zoro doing this with, with hockey. But, no, Zoro is not responsible for this. And, of course, then, all of a sudden, Marco shows up. Yes, Marco shows up and meets the Straw Hats. Some of the Straw Hats the first time. Because, here's the thing. Aside from Luffy, he's never met the Straw Hats before. He's never met any of the crew before. This is the first time he's met any member of the crew. Though, this kind of turns into where, apparently, next week, they're going to start briefly fighting the crew for some reason. Yep. Like, how can I help? And then the episode is revealing exactly what the heck is going on here via Yamato, which he brings Momonosuke and Shinobu to, to the shoreline 
possibly to get on the Imp Pirates Pirate Ship. And it turns out, nope, she can't do that because there's no sea. And you wonder what the heck is going on. Where's the sea? It turns out that Kaido made the island float. And the plan is to drop this thing on Flower Capital. Yep. And that is basically a plot thread that's still going on in the manga right now. With this particular island going to the Flower Capital, though it's actually redirected. But this whole thing will be in the air. That's actually current plot thread right now. It's something that it took until this very episode of Death, a plot thread that's still currently going in the manga. Mm-hmm. And we're probably getting the stuff basically that some, now that's the only plot that we're right now, the floating island. But the only thing that's well, the kind of start also started here was the stuff with Sanji and Black Maria. That started here. Uh, Zoro, well, that possibly starts something with him where he does other stuff here. But in the case of what's going on with Sanji, that's gonna last for a good while. Uh, for another several chapters until he finally he's free from this control being held captive by of all people Black Maria. This will last for a little while, but yeah, but of all the other plot threads to start this episode, with the exception of Floor Out, everything else has been wrapped up that, that they established that happened this episode. Yep. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a damn good episode. Now you're probably thinking, okay, are you gonna review the new shot of the manga? No. And you're thinking, why? Because it didn't come out this week. That's the reason why. Yep. So, next week for that one. Yep. But, yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this particular review. Next one's going to be Baruto, and then back to Super Sentai, okay? Next video. Bye.